All right, so today we are gonna be talking about a tool that has been, I don't throw this word around lightly, game changer, track saw. So the first time I ever used a track saw was way before there was a cordless track saw out, it was about six or seven years ago, and ever since I have been using, I've used that, it has been amazing. For any finished carpenter who hasn't used one of these, you need to get yourself a track saw. It is just, it's, it's amazing. There's no other, no other thing like it. It will change the way you do a lot of stuff and you will be able to get you more accurate, better quality cuts. So this thing, I'm gonna show you why this thing is absolutely awesome. Especially this one. This is the Fest Tool TSC 55. Um, so TS stands for track saw, C cordless, 55, that's 55 millimeters of cut depth is how much it has. But this thing is just the bee's knees of finished carpentry saws. In my opinion, it will do a ton of stuff. I've used it on tons of projects. I'm currently making some cabinets for myself in my own house right there. So I got all the boxes and everything cut for all my cabinets. And I tell you what, without this saw, it wouldn't have been possible to make as nice of a job as I did there. So great thing about this saw is you can get super, super, super accurate cuts um, where normally you might need a table saw and a contractor saw, portable saw. Sometimes just can't cut it, so in order to get those super accurate cuts, you need a big cabinet saw. Um, and you're not just gonna take a big cabinet saw and put it on a job site like this. Uh, that's where this thing is awesome. You can bring it right onto your job site. It comes in a box. You have this track, a couple tracks, and it will cut laser straight lines exactly where you need it. And the great thing is all you gotta do is line up this track right on your cut. So you measure, make your mark, and it, it cuts right where you put it. You don't have to mark off and measure a couple inches back. Um, it, it's super smooth. Another great thing about it is your angles. When you do an angle cut, it goes right, that same cut, that same line. They have engineered it so it pivots on this line here and it'll, if you do it from a 45 or even go to 47 degrees, it'll always cut on the same line no matter what. And you can dial it in to cut exactly on the cut depth you need. So you could, you could even dial it in so much where you could be cutting your exact piece of plywood and not even touch the piece underneath. Maybe finish it up with a sharp knife cut, but another thing that makes this awesome is the fact that changing blades is easy. That locks the whole thing out. You can't turn it on. Allen wrench in here, you change the blade. Easy peasy like that. It only takes a minute or, uh, to do that. Um, now let's talk about cordless. So Fest Tools had a track saw out for a very long time. Um, I've used their corded track saw. I'll be honest with you, their corded track saw is a little underpowered sometimes. If you put the right blade in it, a nice sharp blade, it'll do what you need to do, but sometimes it goes a little slow. This cordless track saw is actually more powerful. It'll cut faster than their corded track saw will. It takes two batteries. So this is uh, two 18 volt batteries. Get pretty dang good runtime with both these 5.2 amp hour batteries on it. Another great thing too, is if you're in a pinch and you only have one battery, it still works with one battery. It goes at half the speed as, one, as with two batteries. But if you really need to cut something, you go a little bit slower and you're in a pinch and you only have one battery, it'll do it. Now, another thing you just heard. So that you heard that vacuum come on, this is cordless. If you get one of their Bluetooth batteries, it doesn't matter which one it's in, if it's in this one or that one, and you pair it with your Bluetooth vac, Festool vacuum, 
it will automatically come on. So no need to uh, for, remember to turn on your vacuum. So this thing has a bunch of great benefits. Like I said, you can't get a straighter cut than this. Even a table saw sometimes, especially a portable table saw, you can get that board off and you can get it to wonder. If you have a your own just regular circular saw and you make a board to put it against or something like that, uh, sometimes that can even get off. You can still get really straight lines, but uh, that's gonna come, it, you could possibly get it off. This is locked into this rail right here. It's not going on. And the bottom of these rails even have so where you can clamp on, you can take these clamps, if you really don't want that piece to move, you put this on here, like this, and it goes under your piece and clamps to it, and the clamp's not in the way of your saw. So that's a real good bonus. But I hardly ever use the clamps because if I have a piece of plywood, this is pretty finished plywood, this is pretty slick. It's got this foam pad that's on this right here. It doesn't move. If it's on a flat surface like this, pretty much most materials, it's not going to move to a certain extent. I mean, yeah, if you really try, but if you put downward pressure on this, it's and uh, are mindful of your cut, you hardly ever need clamps. Now, another good thing is, so you can take a couple of these smaller tracks and put them together. This is like a 55 inch track, so this will cross cut four by eight sheets all day long. You get another track and you can actually get these that join them together, one here, one here, you need two of them join them together. You gotta make sure it's straight though. You put a straight edge on it and make sure it's straight when you do it together because they have a little bit of wobble, you don't want that. Or, you can buy a nine foot plus long track. You can get these tracks up to like I think 14 or 16 feet long. They're a little pricey for this long, but I tell you what, if you're doing a lot of ripping, it's nice to have one long track and then the track that comes with it so you can do cross cuts and then rip cuts on four of eight sheets of plywood. Now, this thing, like I said, battery life is really good. Building my cabinets, I mean, I'm doing kind of precision work. I got two batteries charging, so I got four batteries all together. Doing this kind of work, I've never depleted the batteries faster than they'll charge. And those are the slow chargers. Comes with the slow chargers. I think now, because I've had this for like four or five years uh, since it came out, and I think now if you buy it, it comes with the fast chargers, um, which will really get you up and running really quick. Great thing about this track saw compared to some of the other track saws I've used, like the Makita, is depth adjustment is super easy. Just push this in, go up and down, and it shows you where it is. The top mark is for on the track, the bottom mark is for when it's off the track. Because you can use it off the track, like this too, as a regular circular saw, and it's really nice. It's really close to clearance, like it has a half inch away from here, so you could go around and rip subfloor out of a, a house and only be like a half inch away from the wall. So dust collection on this, is really, 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 really good. You can cut all day long and finish houses, and as long as you have your uh, vacuum hooked up to it, it's you're, you're golden. You don't have to worry about making a big, huge mess. You might get a little bit of dust if like, you're cutting just an uh, eighth of an inch or a sixteenth inch off of something because it doesn't have something on the other side of traffic, but uh, it does really, really, really good with dust collection. And when you buy this cordless one, so it comes with this, so you can use on a with a dust extractor, or and when you use with a dust extractor, it gets like 90% of the dust. But if you don't have a dust extractor, it comes with this bag here that clips on like this, and it probably gets about like 85% of the dust. This thing fills up quick, and then you can zip this out and empty it, and it does a pretty good job of collecting all the dust with no vacuum hooked up to it. Uh, so one of the things I really like about this best tool, and in my opinion, this is the best cordless track saw on the market. Um, a lot of people might tell you they like the Makita better. The only reason I, I could say the Makita would be better or more desirable, it does have more power. The Makita 
does, will be able to cut things faster. Although there's nothing I have found that this won't cut. I even put in the right blade in this, I was cutting hardy board, uh, which it did a really clean, good job. If you're put the right blade, I got a panther blade, it's like 12 tooth blade, you can cut some thick stuff ripping it. No problem. If you try to rip that with the, the 40 tooth blade, it might want to try to bog down a little bit, but it only takes a minute or two to change the blade. And then it's got plenty of power to do that. So this does have enough power that I found to do a lot, pretty much anything I've, I've needed. Um, <clears throat> and I like it better than the Makita, despite having a little bit less power, because uh, one, you can run it on one battery, the Bluetooth connectivity to the vacuum is super, super nice. Just the whole packaging of this tool. So it comes in the Sys5 with this foam insert and everything, everywhere has its place. You can put both char it comes with two chargers, you can put your two extra batteries in here, dust collection. I've got three extra blades in here right now and that all fits very nicely in this. So just, it just works really, really well. And I this just feels a little bit smoother and than the Makita. Like I said, I've had this for a while. This is, it is one of, was one of my first Fest Tool purchases. Um, kind of got me drinking the green Kool-Aid. And also another reason I like this better is because this right here, so this has a knob and this goes down and you can put this down so your off cut and splinter out, but then it also helps really, really, really good with dust collection. So without this, you'll have dust come out here, but this, because this goes all the way down and has the up cut of the blade on the off cut, it captures that and it really, really does a good job with dust collection. So, and just the fine fit and finesse of this saw, I just, it's a little bit more expensive saw and for a reason I think it's better quality than the uh, Makita. Um, some of the other ones, I don't know, I know DeWalt, it's kind of a weird mechanism. You have to go up and down um, and then the dust collection stuff, the DeWalt's, but it's DeWalt's got probably the most power uh, being a big old 60 volt flex volt one. And I've never tried the Maffle, although it's single battery and from what I've heard, it might be a little bit underpowered. We'll see about Milwaukee coming out with one. They're supposed to be coming out with one, I'm guessing. Probably in the next couple of years, we'll see it. Maybe even this year, they might release it. Who knows, but I have no idea of them really. But yeah, just awesome, awesome saw. Game changer for me anyway. And it's one of those saws that I use all the time for finish work. Whenever I'm doing finish work, making cabinets, making built-ins, doing a lot of different types of trim and stuff because you can, if you're working in a remodel where you have a weird angle that you have to cut that you can't rip on a saw, uh, a table saw or something like that, that's what I use it for. Now a lot of people say, hey, will it replace your table saw? I don't think it will replace your table saw, but it will replace a lot of cuts you make on your table saw. Mainly now, my table saw, I only use it for rips of smaller stock stuff because this track, really needs about seven inches of material to sit on to be able to uh, properly work where it's not gonna move on it and be able to rip on it. I think you still need your table saw on top of this, but only for small stuff. Uh, and I don't really need, you don't really need a big table saw and it lessens uh, use on that. But yeah, this thing, it's really good. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you like my review of this saw. Check out my Instagram for other daily content, my builds I'm doing, all my jobs, uh, giveaways, uh, and also check my other videos on here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. Bam.